Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. Today I'm going to be evaluating Wave Accounting Software based on Chapter 7 of the Fit Small Business uh, case study. Um, and so this deals with reporting. So today's is a little bit different. Instead of actually trying to enter any specific transactions, we're just going to look through the software and determine uh, which of these uh, 16 reports are available within wave so the first three are your basic financial statements balance sheet profit and loss statement of cash flows let's make sure the first two um, are available with a comparative statement which compares current period to prior period so in wave uh, let's go to our reports financial statements so here's profit and loss um, compare it to a prior prior period um, looks like we can either make it cash or accrual we'll stick with accrual and there we go. So this is a summary. Click details gives you all the specifics. Excellent. Okay, that looks good. Back to reports, uh, balance sheet. As of hmm, mm. this does not allow you to compare it to the prior year, which is uh, really unfortunate because it's important to see the prior year balance sheet in order to see that the prior year balance sheet ties to the current year balance sheet via the income statement. So kind of an accounting thing. If you don't understand it, that's fine. Um, but it is important that you see the beginning balance sheet. So you'd have to print two separate balance sheets. That's unfortunate. Okay, go back to reports. Cash flow. Um, now cash flow you can compare to a prior period. Not so interested in that. Um, but it does give us a cash flow statement. Okay, so to our rubric, uh, a comparative balance sheet. No, it's just a current year balance sheet, so I'm going to give it half a point. The profit and loss statement does good. Statement of cash flows is fine. Now, can we do an accounts receivable aging and accounts payable aging? Um, okay, aging reports. So back to reports. Um, customers, so we have an aged receivables report. Very good. And what about an aged payables report? Go right down to vendors probably. There we got it. Aged payables. Very good. So we have aged payables and aged receivables. Um, income lost by month. I'm not sure Wave will be able to do this, but let's look closer again at our profit and loss statement. So let's, let's change it to a month compared to a prior period. Yeah, I am not seeing a way here to uh, make it. So you want to have it. You'd like to see like 12 columns with one month in each column, and I am not seeing a way to do that in WAVE. Okay, so income lost by month, no. Income lost by customer, so I'm not just talking about just invoices and payments from customers. I want expenses assigned to customers so we can calculate income and loss. WAVE doesn't do that. We don't, we don't, we don't track expenses by customer, so we would never be able to create that report. Um, income lost by class, WAVE does not track by classes, location, or projects, so we're not going to have those reports. Unbilled charges and unbilled time, not going to have those reports because, again, we don't track unbilled charges and unbilled time in WAVE. We can't track that. So transaction list by customer, so this would be transactions directly with the customer, not just expenses assigned to customers. So this is basically invoices and payments. Go to reports, I think under customers, income by customer. Good. So all income, paid income. Okay, that will work. So we're going to say transaction list by customer. Yes. Expenses by vendor. Uh, purchases by vendor. So all purchases, paid purchases. So these would be, yeah expenses booked these would be when you actually pay the expenses so any difference should be accounts payable that you still have outstanding so here we should still owe widgets guy 249 dollars okay looks good purchases by vendor general ledger
perfect. This is a good general ledger. So cash, all the transactions that affected cash. Checking, all the transactions that affected checking. Perfect. That is a really useful statement. Uh, it's usually a very long report, but that's very useful to give to your accountant because they can see everything that happened in every single account. Excellent. Glad they've got the general ledger. And finally, a trial balance. I think I saw that here. Trial balance. Excellent. Shows all of your accounts, debits and credits at the total. Balances out all your debits equal all your credits. Things are good. Okay, they have a trial balance. Excellent. So that's reporting in WAVE.